Okay, Conscious Growing Gardeners. So, yesterday I promised that I would do a video on the, the uh, things that we use in our garden uh, that we like as far as helping to grow life. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to get to that video. So, today I'm going to do that video right now, right? For all the subscribers, for all the people that watch, right? For all the people that uh, are new to gardening, right? Uh, We've been gardening for about five, almost six years now. So we've learned a lot of little things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just just alone, the, the conscious growing garden has been gardening for that long. Of course, you know, as kids, you know, you've had that first uh, little uh, plant that you have on your on your uh, on your uh, windowsill at your, at the school, or and they let you take it home. You know what I'm saying? My mom uh, was a was an advocate for plants. She always had a lot of plants in the house, and we would water them and take care of them when she couldn't. You know, even when she was there and I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? It was one, something that I always found that whenever I was taking care of the plants, they grew well. So someone would say, I just have a green thumb, okay? You know, even though it's not green, but I have a green thumb. And uh, and so uh, uh, my grandmother was a, was, a, was a plant woman, but she was a, an advocate for great food. She was a, a very good cook. She taught all her, her daughters how to cook. And so that, 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 uh, that generation passed a lot of that cooking and uh, food and stuff down to us, uh, as well as uh, my partner, uh, the scientific one. She's uh, a down south young lady, come from her, her family's from Alabama. So they learn a lot about cooking from uh, soul food areas, uh, beans and peas and things of that nature. And so one day uh, she got hit with a, with, with a uh, grow bug that she wanted to start uh, her own garden and grow her own peas and beans and things of that nature. And uh, at that time, I hadn't got bit by the bug yet, and so we were still, you know, an advocate for going straight to the grocery store and getting everything we wanted. For some reason, she just wanted to really get started about five years ago, and she just went outside in the yard and picked a spot and started digging, and uh, she eventually convinced me to come out and help her. Some, some, some things that she couldn't do physically that she wanted me to do, you know, the hustle and the muscle, you know, and I came out there and uh, began to, to move stuff around, and once I started, saw, saw that, uh, that uh, the things that I had planted started growing, and I got bit by the bug, and we've been on it ever since. So let's go into it. Let's go. Let's let's don't let's not delay y'all. Now, guys, you might hear a little noise upstairs. My son's uh playing uh uh with the Xbox, so he's doing like a, a, a dance thing or a bowling thing or something. He always he's always doing something with this game, so he's up there. So you know, I'm, I would say ignore it, cause I do. You know what I'm saying? So, but I apologize for the noise. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna get to is what we use. We showed this already. We're gonna show it again. This is one we like to use bone meal. Okay. This is 100% organic. We, like, we don't like to use a lot of stuff that has chemicals, and we like to go with the organic, natural stuff, okay, because we are organic gardeners. So we use that Joby's Organic 100% Bone Meal, okay? It's very, it helps when the plants are, are at a certain age or when they're grown, before they get their flowers, their true flowers, right after they get their true flowers, this is when you really want to, right before they're about to get their true flowers and right after they get them, this is what you want to use, okay? This, this helps the, the plant life grow, okay? We use that a lot. Another one we use is... Uh, Lime. Okay, you want to put some lime in certain plants, especially the ones with the flowers on them. They bring out the different colors in them. So if you're talking about flowers and uh, 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 things of that nature, right? Uh, you want to use this, right? Uh, this uh, this also raises the pH balance in your garden. Okay, so you might you might want to put a little bit of that when your pH might be low in your garden, as far as uh, the levels of uh, 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 knowing. I always talk about the pH in the body, right? I always talk about that pH body that 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 being that alkaline, right? You want to have a certain alkaline to your soil too. It helps your plants grow healthy and help your flowers bloom very beautiful and big and full. So stuff like squash and zucchini, you want your flowers to be big and powerful and strong. You throw a sprig of little lime in there, that helps always. Okay, uh, in the beginning, you first start growing, right? And you get started, right? Worm castings, earthworm castings. Okay, this we use this a lot. This is plant food. Now we'll use this to start our plants off, right? We'll we'll make worm, we'll make worm, worm tea with a little bit of water and a little bit of this mixed in there, making some worm tea, and we actually pour it into our into our, our soil with our plants, with our seeds already in there, and this helps with the uh, helps with the, the strength of the plant. It helps uh, grow the uh, excuse me, excuse me, y'all. I'm ready to see that on the TV screen. I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show you on that too. That helps with the uh, helps with the growth of the plants, right? It helps uh, strengthen the plants. Uh, it also that earthworm castings has a. Uh, of course, if you want to know what castings are, earthworm castings is nothing but uh, manure. Okay, so that really builds up that because you can't grow without manure. It really builds up the strength of that plant. Um, it really helps. Uh, 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 it enriches the soil. Okay, which which and it's, it does it all organically because it's natural from from from, from worms. 
and uh, really, uh, you know, uh, uh, feels the void of when you're struggling, when it, when the plant might be struggling to try to come out of its shell and, and, and that seed to, to, poll to pollinate. I mean, that seed to give birth and to start, uh, not pollinate, pollinates later on. But when that seed gets ready to, to, uh, to uh, break through and that, that plant to come to life, that really likely helps a lot. So, you know, with the strength of, the, of those seeds. Um, and the last, but certainly not, certainly not uh, least, is... Uh, Another plant food that we like is or, it's all like I said, everything we use is organic. Okay, you see that it's organic. This is just a small bag of tomato and vegetable plant food. Okay, it's for all types of edible gardening. Okay, so this is not just for tomatoes; it's for all types of. But this, we use it specifically. We make sure that we do use this on our on our tomatoes, right? It's for, it's uh, just a, a natural growing garden uh, uh, plant food fertilizer. Okay, and and what we suggest is that. You know, you don't want to fertilize every day. You know, you will over, you kill your plants with over fertilizing. You, that's like you can kill them over watering them. You want to be patient with uh, uh, uh with, with, with what you give them. Okay, so just be very wise and be very uh careful of that. You know, you want to make sure that the, the soil's not dry, but you don't want to make sure that the, you also want to make the, sure that the soil's not overly saturated and wet. Now, in the beginning, when you first started, you want to get that soil. You know, you want to get it wet. You know what I'm saying? You want to get it, and you want to give it a couple of days, uh, even if it's under grow lights or outside in the sun. You want to check on it, make sure that if it's still wet, don't water it. Don't, because you don't want to overwater your plants. You want to give it time to to struggle, right? Uh, 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 when you give life, like I've never, I've never given life. So this is not like I'm talking from some experience, but I'm talking about when a woman gives life, she has nine months, right? And she has some struggle. She has some pain. She has some growth, right? And, and believe me, it's struggling from going from one size to another size within a course of like six months and being big. I can, you know what I'm saying? You, you can tell you, you can't fit the same clothes. You're not walking the same. You're not getting around the same, right? Uh, you might be totally healthy and happy about the experience, right? But it does come with changes and that come with, that comes with growth. So these things right here in the plant life uh, do, do the same, you know, do the same thing predominantly. You know, they help to grow the plant, to keep it strong and to give it the, the, give it the life that it needs. OK, um, you know, I changed my mind. I was going to show something on the screen here. You know what I'm saying? But I, what I, what I, and, 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 and it's really it's really something opposite of what we're talking about. But I really like what we're talking about. So I think that we're just going to stay on schedule with the plant life. I was really going to talk something about a little bit about um what's going on in our world out here, right? As far as uh, uh, certain things that, that mandates and stuff and things like that, of that nature, what's going on. And I think I'm going to save that video. I'm going to save that, that those uh, comments and that particular um, um, stage of, of my of my conversation for a later video. Okay, so we're just going to continue talking about some of these plants and what we can do uh, as far as uh, building up the strength and the life that they have, that they need in order to uh, to, to, to have a, 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 a plentiful harvest. You need that. Uh, today's time is uh is, is so is so uh, critical that you know how to uh, grow your own plants, right? Um, even if you don't have your own backyard, if you stay in an apartment, if you have a balcony, you can go get a, a, a pot up, a topsy, I could suggest a topsy turvy, right? I showed you guys one of those in my previous videos. The topsy turvy is a hanging plant uh uh bag that you can put soil in okay and uh you can take your plant or your seeds and put it in and they have different uh uh escapes for the for the different legs of the plant so if it's a tomato plant that has more than one leg you can you can put it through different legs of, of holes in the bag including the bottom and you can let it you know you it has a filter to the top so when it waters if it's outside and it gets water on it uh naturally through through rain that's fine um if it's under your uh the um if it's on your porch and your porch has a, a, a covering over it and doesn't it doesn't allow the rain to get in, in on it, then you have to water it yourself, of course. But of, of course, at the same time, you're going to want some of these beautiful uh, um, fertilizers that you're going to have that you're going to want to use. OK, and you don't want to like I said, you don't want to fertilize every day. You know, what I'm saying you want to you want to be patient with fertilizing your plants. Um Everybody has a different way of doing their their, their fertilization. Um, sometimes you look at your plants and some plants are outgrowing each other. So you might want to give that a little more. Sometimes, uh, you know, you have to pay attention to your plants and you have to give them the attention that they need. So uh, when you're talking about the flowers blooming on the plant, which is how you start the pollination, you that's when you want to pull out uh, the lime and, and throw a little lime in your soil. OK, when you're talking about uh, uh, the life of the plant. Right. In the beginning, the beginning, 
earth of that plant, the, the beginning of uh, breakthrough of that seed. You want to get your earthworm castings and get you some worm, worm tea, make you some worm tea, you know what I'm saying, pour it in your soil and get it, get it, you know, get it growing. And uh, when you're talking about the, 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 the uh, uh, just the everyday um, uh, feeding of the plant, you know, when you, when, the, when the plant needs to eat, because the plant is going to drink water and it's going to get sunlight, but it might need a little fertilization. That's when you want to break out, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the, 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 the the, the, the fertilizer plant food and really break it down and you know what I'm saying and put throw a few few crumbles in there right and uh just watch just watch the plant just pay attention to the plant you know you know uh a lot of us get so uh caught up in our day you know what I'm saying we got, we we're working uh, we have the, the kids you know we have the mate we have you know we have we have eight to ten hours of of of, of, of work time ourselves sometimes 12 16 and it depends on how how what have you got hour 30 if you got 30 minutes to work an hour to work commuting you know what i'm saying um by the time we get home if there's dinner to be fixed or anything chores to be done around the house you know what i'm saying by the time the day is done we're so tired we don't have the energy to be like well you know i'm going to go and do this so we have to really like you know uh take our time as far like take take advantage of the time that we have even though we don't have much we have to learn how to uh uh discipline ourselves in that time and find that time you know, within between what you're doing, what needs to be done, and remember that those plants are somewhere if they're in, if they're in your grow house, if they're outside in your yard, if they're in your greenhouse, right, wherever they might be. Take a few minutes of your day to go and spend time with your plants, see what they need, see if the uh, if the soil's dry, give it some water. You know what I'm saying? See if it's struggling uh, to to grow, right? It might need fertilizing. You might you may have not fertilized this month. You know what I'm saying? I I figure I I choose I choose to fertilize my plants uh, about twice a month. You know what I'm saying? Some people do more than that every 15 days, um, which is, you know, close to like twice a month. And it, like I said, it depends on how heavy the plant is. Some plants are heavy feeders. They need a lot more water than others. Some are, some are just, just naturally just grow or needs a little water and a little air and sunlight and they just take off, right? So you have to know which plants you have and you have to pay attention to each seed, uh, each seedling to find out what it might be uh, deficient in, what struggles it might have, right? Well, we keep a lot of stuff like Dot Matrix Earth around here so that we can get rid of some of the bugs that we want, but you don't want to overuse it because you don't want to chase away all of the bugs. Uh, we also uh, uh, keep uh, baking soda around here that we use within our plants because sometimes baking soda makes your, makes your fruit and vegetables sweet. So if you want a sweet tomato rather than just a tomato that tastes like water, you want to add some baking soda uh, to, your, to, your, uh, to your soil uh, mostly during the, the 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 flowering time, and then when it, especially when you start seeing uh, tomatoes um, form on your on your plant, when they when they start growing, you can see them. You got actually got uh, whether they be cherry or black creme or or uh, you know whatever whatever particular tomato you might have. Even if you growing tomatillos, right? Once you see the tomatoes start growing, you want to make sure you put some baking soda in the soil. It will sweeten uh, the tomato. Okay. Um, Growing is a uh, it's a passion of mine uh, that I got like I said I got bit um, about five almost six years ago now and we just love uh, being open minded now because we are the con the reason why we named ourselves the conscious growing gardeners is because we uh, yeah we started off as just just growing and just seeing what we wanted to grow and what we liked. But we've gotten into herbs and we've gotten into, you know, different types of uh, of lettuce. Right. Just we just really just started uh, thinking with our minds. And then we started seeing uh, because we do a lot of research. Uh, shout out to all the preppers on YouTube. Right. Um, we do a lot of research and we started researching and we started seeing the prices of food and just everything that was going on in this country. And we knew that gardening was going to become a very uh, spectacular and big thing. Right. So years ago, like years ago, we started uh you know, mounting up on our seeds, seed uh, harvest, right? We started uh, keeping our seeds from our other plants and other fruits and vegetables that we uh, that we uh, eat, right, and partake of, right? We even started, uh, even our neighbors will start started getting involved, um, like sending us tomato plants and sending us av old avocados that we just opened up and threw, you know, we composted the old part of the avocado and kept the seeds so that we could, you know, start our own fruit trees. And we started ordering our own fruit trees. Shout out to the scientific one. She started ordering all types of fruit trees that she liked and that we, that our family likes that we eat. So we're going to be able to move on to a bigger part of our land in the next few years. You guys will see that because these trees are going to take three to four years before they even start, you know, getting big and, and performing fruit, uh, giving us fruit that we want, right? But that's definitely something that's good because if you could just walk into your, your yard and just pull a fruit off the tree, a peach or an apple, you know what I'm saying, or something like that, and you could just, you know, put it in your mouth, a, a, a goji berry, an elderberry, right? Raspberries, blackberries, right? People, people, I always go with the goji and the, and the elderberries because those are very good, uh, 
plants for uh, cancer killing uh, properties that might you know climb in your body over the years. You know what I'm saying? From your diet, right? From your lack of exercise, from from you know not drinking enough water. It's all kind of reasons on why you might your body might contact come in contact with uh with some type of disease, right? Whether it be whether it be a, a you know a, something they have a something that they they, they they claim they have a cure for or something that they haven't given the cure to us yet, right? And and, and you just get it in doses. Like just a small dose of it, right? Not realizing that, uh, you know, there's all kind of ways to uh prevent this from happening to you, you know. And I, I'm sure I, one, the thing the thing of it is is that uh, with us not being doctors, right? I'm not a doctor. You're not a doctor, right? Mostly people that's watching this, baby, you know, you know, you know, there might be some people that watch it as a doctor, but we're not doctors, so we don't know. You know, you don't always know without certain tests whether you're sick or whether you, you know, whether you have uh diabetes or whether you have cancer, right? These are things that start coming up in your life as you get older or as you start discovering something is wrong with your body, right? So what I tell people sometimes is preventive measures. Just on GP, right? Just on general purposes, preventive measures can help you to live a long lasting life. If you're in your 40s, you know what I'm saying? You should be getting your prostate check, right? Uh, you should be making sure that you eat elderberries and gelgi berries. You should get a certain amount of sunlight. You should always have a certain amount of rest that you uh, have to ascertain to your life, right? So there should be a certain amount of exercise. You know, when you're young, we do this like randomly, like it's nothing, right? But when you get older, this is when we start slacking, up, slacking down on taking care of ourselves, which is the opposite of what you should actually be doing. OK, you should be taking more consideration and more time for your body during those elderly times than when you are younger, because younger, you just bounce back like it's nothing. Right. So Conscious Growing Gardener family and YouTubers and all that everybody watching. Right. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, right, if you uh, are interested in gardening and learning about taking care of your body health wise, being conscious about what you put in your body as an older person. And one day, if you're young now, you're going to be an older person. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Right. Hit that uh, bell. Right. That notifies, just notification bell that notifies you when we upload a video until we get the subscribers that we need to be able to uh, go live. And we'll be going live in the garden. We'll be showing you uh, how to how to how to uh, start your seeds, how to uh, how to take care of them, right? How to prune your plants when they get older, how to take care of them when they sick, how to continue to fight off uh, different in insects and animals that may uh, have the potential to get in your garden, right? When you are a gardener and you have an outside garden, as we do right now, of course, right now we're using the inside garden because we're in Cleveland, Ohio, and this is the time where you get into fall weather, and we're not worried about the fall. Uh, it's just mostly the frost that when it, when it starts snowing and the frost and the uh gets on the on the leaves and the plants it destroys them so we don't want to do that so we started the inside garden so shout out to once again the scientific one you know having a partner is an excellent thing the scientific one has got us a, a, a great uh inside garden a greenhouse that we're using right along with the green lights i mean with the grow lights that we have to uh to have a potential for a great uh uh fall and winter harvest of of, of, of fruit a fruit crop and vegetables that we're going to be able to eat uh right here in our own home all right, family. I, I suggest that you start to stay uh, conscious about your about your your uh, your sleep, your your water intake, your exercise, and definitely your fruits and vegetables and meats and breads that you put within your body, right? To find that balance, okay? Yes, we all like those sweets and those pies and those cakes and those things of that nature, but we also got to make sure that we are taking care of our temple. All right, family. Peace.